He's talking to the Muslims. He said, I know you guys came from that. I know you guys came from shirk and kufr. I understand. But you know what? I'm not scared about that. But he said, you know what I am scared of? I'm scared that you're going to fight over money. I'm scared that money is going to become your number one goal. You know that phrase they say, money over everything? Allah is al-a'la. There's no money over everything. Allah is over everything. Jalla wa'ala. He says, I'm scared that you're going to fight over money. And the commentators of hadith, they say that not just money, but what comes with money? Power, fame, status. So they say, not, you're not only going to fight over money, but you'll fight over popularity. You'll fight over status. Even in Muslim organizations and families even. People want to be the, the top, you can't say dog, but the top cat, right? They want to be like the, the, the top one, the best person. He says, this is what I fear for you, that your heart will become del- uh, disillusioned by all of these dunya objects, that you're not going to go back to shirk and kufr like directly. You're not going to say that I leave Allah, billah, may Allah protect us. But what you will do is you'll say, I'd rather get that cash, I'd rather get that cream over worshiping or praying maghrib. That's what he was scared about. That's what he was concerned about. So this advice is very telling. Because if we look honestly and reflect, even in ourselves, we have to be very vigilant and careful over this sickness.